Even as Nagaland grapple with the rising number of the COVID-19 cases resenting against the state cabinet's decision on their regularizing 27 contractual medical offices on the ground of constraint of the manpower to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. The National Health Admission Employees Association Nagaland has indefinitely ceased work from Sunday till the three-point demands of the association are fulfilled. Meanwhile, Nagaland government has so far spent rupees 10.33 crore on the returnees from the evacuation process to the management of the returnees in institutional quarantine facilities informed spokesperson on the COVID-19, Mohan Limon Kikon. Here's the report. Nagaland spokesperson of COVID-19, Neba Krunu, addressing a press conference on 12 June at the Secretariat Conference Hall, Kohima, briefed that with a view to further strengthen the manpower of the Health and Family Welfare Department, the Cabinet in its meeting held on 11 June 2020 has approved creation of 53 posts of specialist doctor for 11 district hospitals. Creation of 143 post of staff nurse to be deployed in all the district hospital, among others. The cabinet also approved a regularization of 19 serving contract medical officers, 27 existing medical officers who have been engaged by the department for a period of one year. Neba Krunu stated that this is a one-time measure in view of the prevailing situation in the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic shall not be treated as a precedent. While resenting against the cabinet decision on regularizing of the 27 contractual medical officers on the ground of constrained manpower to contain COVID-19 pandemic, over 1,000 staff of National Health Mission Employees Association Nagaland has indefinitely ceased work from Sunday till the three-point demands of the association are fulfilled. The demands included regularization of the NHM employees, pay parity with the state health staff of the same rank and all basic employees benefit in line with the state health employees. Meanwhile, the Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Department on Sunday urged the NEA and to immediately call off its cease work strike in the interest of public service. While M. Hon Limon Kikon, spokesperson for COVID-19 and advisor IT Science and Technology NRE, at the press conference on 12 June said, Nagaland government has so far spent rupees 10.33 crore on returners. The High Power Committee, led by our Honorable Chief Minister, had a video conference with the DCs, CMOs, and SPs of all the districts, initiating an e office so that all file tracking management and all that will be done electronically. Uh, has been has reached the donor ministry. And during this pandemic to ensure that our economic policy for uh, the unemployed youth will be facilitated and supported if one of the major projects which we have already placed before the government of India, which is the trans Nagaland Highway, be taken up on priority. With around 7,700 persons returning to the state, Nagaland COVID-19 spokesperson M. Honli Monkikon stated that so far till 12 June 2028 crore 68,63,146 rupees was spent for the quarantine centers across the state, while 1.65 crore have been spent so far in hiring for 32 buses and 9 special trained in bringing the stranded citizens of the state from 13 different states. The expenditure incurred by uh, the government of Nagaland in the preparation and the management of quarantine centers uh, as on 12 June 2020 is 8 crores 68 lakhs 63,146 63, rupees. This is for all the districts in Nagaland. The government of Nagaland, through its district task force, hires caterers for all the mass service, food service in the quarantine centers. So it is not, uh, it is handled by the caterers who are hired by the district task force. We pay them money. And Kikon also stated that a high power committee led by the chief minister held a video conference with the DCs, SPs and CMOs of all district to get a ground report of the prevailing situation of the state. With Inzan Bimokovo, Kohima.